What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I want to talk about what coulda, woulda, shoulda been. Now this subject is that of something odd and I'm going to try my best today to keep it clean and not be of a negative nature towards Bungie. I mean almost every video as of late I've posted Destiny related has been of one of a negative nature. Now while I don't do this because it's what I want to do, I do this because I say what in my opinion what needs to be said and to be honest I don't really see or hear many other Destiny folks talking about the issues that are surrounding the game. So the reason and idea behind this video comes from something I saw last night people. I was scrolling through my Instagram looking at some older pictures I've posted. Now if you don't follow me on Instagram, why not? It's linked within the video description. I post anything from epic pictures of puppies, sexy cars and BS destiny. So follow for nudes people. So yeah, I was looking through some older pictures and I saw this picture right here. Now this was a picture I posted literally a few days before Destiny 2 was officially released. Basically because a pal of mine was a big toy store, I got it a few days early. The post was titled Life for the Next 3 Years and it was a picture showing me kissing Destiny 2 the game. I remember taking this picture like it was yesterday because to be honest, it almost was. What happened between then and now? How did it become, well, so bad? It puzzles me. And to be honest, seeing this image reminds me more so of the hype I had for the game when I first got my hands on it, not long after I came back from the LA reveal event. All was looking great going forward. The game was supposed to fill my life for the next three years, as I expected when taking this picture. But that didn't quite turn out the way I planned. A true shame. Now I don't want this video, as I said, to be a negative one, although we ain't off to a great start. After last night's update, I saw glimpses of a brighter future for sure. The update, if you missed it, you will find linked covered via a video I posted last night, which is linked in the video description. I go through every detail of the update and quite a few of the parts of it surprised me for sure. And this up tempo of excitement wasn't just seen by me. Many other content creators who have felt underwhelmed with Destiny 2 at the moment all spoke out about how this update for sure is a good start into putting Destiny 2 back on the map. For the first time ever I believe we actually saw them confirm a bug we will experience in the game prior to us actually being able to experience it. That is something I believe we have never seen Bungie do, giving us the heads up on problems that might occur. It's actually refreshing to see. Also many changes they mentioned are definitely the right changes. The raid armor which now drops with specific mods which basically are exclusive to the raid activity and the perks they give give you advantages in said raids. We saw this one for instance of what these mods will do. While under Leviathan your solo abilities deal 25% more damage. I mean this could be a cloak specific mod but it's definitely something of interest. These are definitely a step in the right direction. This is how mods should be. Hopefully it's a system they put into place with Crucible and so on. The mod system for sure at the moment needs a complete revamp, but adding such mods to certain armors giving them plus points in the activities they represent is a good addition. They also spoke of a certain red exotic thrown into the raid boss loot pools. This exotic shell will be the new thing to chase and to be honest it's another great addition for sure. I mean yes it's not really a vex, it's not really a touch of malice. But it does come with great perks and it does give us something to chase. The perk that stood out for me on this ghost shell for various reasons is called the Seeker of Brilliance. Which enables the chance for encounters to drop bright engrams from their loot pools. Every time one doesn't drop a bright engram we increase the chance for the next. Now this is a major step in the right direction, giving us more ways to earn bright engrams, which as we all know, contain that eververse loot, which has been at the forefront of almost every negative review of the game. These bright engrams were the true endgame. Most of the best looking gear was exclusive to them, and the only way you could obtain them was to gain XP and level up, or purchase them for that real life money. Now the XP system you could use to obtain these uh, bright engrams, we know originally was part of a system put in place by Bungie to actually reward you less the more you played. They confirmed this issue and fixed it I believe. Many people though, with me included, you may recall stayed we need other ways to obtain bright engrams. Having other ways to obtain bright engrams and not limiting them to either you busting your ass for two a week by gaining XP within activities you can't be asked doing or purchasing them with real life money. This is one solution I can deal with, no doubt also other ways of obtaining bright engrams will be introduced in the future. 
It does show they are listening for sure, but I've said this in the past as you may recall. These changes we are seeing now no date come out of desperation to save the game. Although these changes are good, they should have been in the base game and there's no excuse for that. Now a few other minor changes coming with the January 30th update are definitely worth noting and going back over to. Armour Masterworks and changes to raid rewards aren't the only changes coming in the upcoming update on January 30th. Here is a look at a few other fixes you can expect to see in the full notes next week. Prometheus Lens. Flame Refraction perk now generates ammo instead of pulling from reserves and increased base damage. This is a good thing. In the D1 days, exotics which received nerfs were almost left behind and never recovered. It's good to see they took quick action in fixing this Curse of Osiris exotic. Players in social spaces like the tower receive a notification when they're lost and found that the Postmaster is full. This is also another great addition. Heroic Strike completions now have a greater chance of granting exotic rewards, although not perfect and I do believe Strike should have exclusive loot, which I do believe they are working on for the future. I suppose increasing the chances of receiving exotic rewards ain't too bad. Mercury challenges are now available during adventures, which is also a nice addition. Fixed an issue where the Curse of Osiris strikes were not properly granting clan engrams when featured as a nightfall activity. This I believe should have been something they sorted ages back. Fixed an issue where challenges were not appearing within quick play. Again an issue I believe they should have sorted ages back. Increased the dismantle timer for masterwork cores. This isn't something that I had a problem with but I did see a few people complaining about it. But yeah guys, other than these and that ghost shell, many other improvements are coming and again like I said if you want to hear about them all, check out the video linked within the video description. I mean going off this update, it does look like the future could be getting better, but again, it's early days and Destiny 2 at the moment is still in a shitty place. Now one last thing to mention before we come to the close and that is Luke Smith with his one tweet every month has made his first tweet for this month. He tweeted this, Monster Hunter time. So while his game is on its last legs, it's good to see he's optimistic and cheerful about other games. And on that note guys, I am out. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about the initial update we received yesterday. Do you think it's a good update? Do you think the future's bright? Let me know. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.